Hey, I'm Chef Ange. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. On today's episode, I want to show you the super easy and mega delicious lemon pepper salmon bites. Lemony, peppery, complete with a dipping sauce. Even people that don't like fish will be asking for another one. For the full ingredient list and directions, check the description box below. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos every week. Let's get cooking. The first step of this recipe is making our dipping sauce. And our dipping sauce is gonna have a base of some Greek yogurt. And this is gonna be like a Greek tzatziki sauce. I'm gonna throw in some peeled cucumbers, some garlic, I'm gonna squeeze some lemon juice in there. Really get a good squeeze and get plenty of lemon juice in there. A little bit of pepper. You're gonna see this recipe is gonna have pepper in almost every component because that's one of the main flavors of lemon pepper salmon. A little pinch of some salt. And now we're gonna blend this in the food processor until we get a nice smooth consistency and we don't see those cucumbers anymore. We want everything blended in there really, really nicely. And now at the finish, we're gonna take some fresh dill. We're gonna throw that in there. And we're just gonna pulse the food processor to chop that up a little bit. We don't wanna blend this completely. We just want the dill to be dotted through the sauce really nicely. I also put in some olive oil, but I missed that on camera. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this in a container and we're gonna let this settle inside the fridge and let all the flavors come together. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our glaze. And the base of our glaze is gonna be some honey. The sweetness really pairs nicely with the lemon pepper seasoning plus the savoriness of the fish. So we're gonna add some melted butter that I nuked in the microwave. Here's some olive oil. We're gonna throw a couple dashes of some light soy sauce in there for a some umami flavor, and you can use a heavy soy sauce or whatever you have lying around. And then we're also gonna microplane some garlic in there. So the microplane is a super duper fine shredder. It's gonna take that garlic and really pulverize it down to almost like a paste. So once it hits that sauce and we mix that all in there, uh, you're gonna see that there's not gonna even be any like garlic chunks in there. It all's just gonna blend really nicely. A little salt for some seasoning. And a little bit more pepper in here too. So now to incorporate our sauce all together, we'll take a whisk out and that's gonna help break down that honey and make sure that it whisks really nicely into the glaze liquid. You could do it with a spoon or a fork, but whisk is gonna be the tool here. We're gonna set that sauce aside and now we're gonna skin our salmon. You don't have to skin your salmon yourself. This is just something fun that I like to do and I like to practice. I'm not that great at it, so definitely need a little bit more practice, but I think I did okay here. You could just ask the person at your fish counter to do this. Not too shabby. So now we're gonna take a super duper sharp knife and we're gonna cut our salmon side into strips that are probably a little bit less than two inches wide. You wanna visualize these bite-sized pieces. And now we're gonna take each one of those strips and we're also gonna cut them down into three or four pieces. The salmon's nice and wide, so we're gonna go four pieces. And we're trying to make them as equal size as possible, even though some will be thicker and some will be thinner just because of the thickness of the filet. So now let's season our salmon. We're gonna give it a nice heavy drizzle with some olive oil. And now we're gonna bring out the greatest lemon pepper seasoning in the game, Mrs. Dash. This is a great store-bought ingredient. I mean, you can make your own lemon pepper seasoning, but Mrs. Dash does it better than you can. So we're gonna give it a nice liberal seasoning of that, and we're gonna back that up with uh, Paul Prudhomme's seafood seasoning. I really, really like this seafood seasoning. I think it tastes like a really mild blackening seasoning. So you can use a blackening seasoning, or if this is available in your supermarket, you can get that. And then we're also gonna throw in, guess what? Some more pepper. A little pinch of salt, because Mrs. Dash doesn't have any salt. So we also gotta add some. And now we're gonna get in there with our hands and we're just gonna keep mixing until we get a nice even coating of the seasoning in the olive oil. We're gonna put this on a baking sheet that's lined with aluminum foil and has a raised grate on top of it. I'm gonna give this a little bit of a spray so the salmon doesn't stick to it. And I'm gonna arrange the salmon on the baking sheet to have a little bit of space in between each one. 
and you can see that we've arranged them nice and equal on the sheet so when these go inside the oven they're going to cook as equally as possible. I'm going to throw these inside a 425 degree oven and I do have the convection setting on if you do have that. After about six to eight minutes we're going to pull that out and you can see our salmon somewhat cooked but not all the way. But now we're going to take that glaze we made and we're going to brush it right over the top. And we're going to take our time to make sure that we're coating each piece really nicely. And we're going to use all the glaze that we got. We're not going to save this for anything. It's got to go on that fish. Make sure you're getting the sides. Make sure you're getting the top. And pay attention to any spots that may not have got glazed. So this is going to go back in the oven for another 5 to 10 minutes or until that salmon's fully cooked. Once we pull this out of the oven, that glaze is nice and set on there. The fish is fully cooked. And these are ready to hit the plate and get garnished. So let these cool down just for a little bit before you handle them. Be really gentle pulling them off. If they stick a little bit, just try to wiggle them off without breaking that fish. Once fish is cooked, it's super duper delicate. Now we're going to take these, we're going to arrange these on a plate. We're going to give them a little sprinkle with some parsley. Green stuff always makes it nice and pretty. And then right over the top with some nice fresh lemon zest. And that's really going to bring out the lemon flavor of that lemon pepper seasoning. Our tzatziki sauce. And a little dipping sauce container. And some fresh lemon to squeeze on right before we eat it. Green stuff always makes them pretty. So we're gonna take out a little bit of dill and we're gonna throw that on top of our sauce too, just for a little pop of color on there. When your guests come over and they see this, you're gonna make, minds are gonna be blown. Even people that don't like fish will be asking for more. Now you can see that that was a super simple recipe. These look super delicious. Uh, let's give one of them a try. First, a little lemon on top. And I think we're going to go for this one right here. And now look how super duper tender this is. It's fully cooked. That salmon inside is glistening. Super yummy. Mm. So good. Lemony, peppery. Mrs. Dash, you do an awesome job. Definitely did Mrs. Dash justice with her lemon pepper seasoning on this one. I'm Chef Ange. These are my lemon pepper salmon bites. Uh, if you like this recipe, don't forget to hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.